Hi hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, I am going to talk about how you can reset your MySQL connection password even if you have forgotten the old password. So one of our subscribers have commented on one of our videos of installing MySQL and its dependencies, Dennis Darko. He commented, how do I reset my password? And also I've forgotten it. So we thought of creating a video on that and this is the video on that. So without any further ado, let's get directly into the topic guys. So first let me show you what I'm talking about. Say suppose you open up my SQL workbench and this is your connection. As soon as you open that, it will ask you a password. Your username is root and your password is let's say something. So if you give the right password, it will open up nicely no problem but let's say you have forgotten the password so this time you opened it up and i have given some wrong password if i press enter it will it will show you something like this this is the error it will show you so let's say you have forgotten the password now you don't remember the old password and you need to reset the password for mysql workbench or if you use a mysql client your client is not working it is getting crashed again and again how you can fix this problem so let us talk about how you can reset the password without any problem so before even i start this video i would like to request you people to please like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates so without any further ado let's get right into the topic so this is how it shows you if you give the wrong password. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this also. The very first thing that you need to do is you need to stop the MySQL service. How you can do it? You need to click on to search and you need to search for services. As soon as you click on to services, all your services will come. Here are the services that will come. Now you need to search for mysql service as soon as you search for mysql service this is the mysql service mysql 80 service at this time you can see that this mysql 80 service is running at the moment so i need to stop it how i can stop it so i can just right click i can directly say stop and it will stop the mysql service now you are ready to reset the password to do that i'm going to minimize it now in the next step you need to create a text document file so let's say i went into my d drive and here i right click i clicked on to new i clicked on to text document and here i said i'll name it as password press enter and i'm going to open up this file here i'm going to write a new command guys to show you how you can reset it so you will write here alter you will say user and paste in the single quotes you will say root what is this root this is the username folder so let me show you what i'm talking about as soon as you open up my sql workbench this is the user root so you'll give that whatever your username is you will give that here and after that you will say at the rate you will say in single quotes you will say local host and single quotes closed space identified by and then here in single quotes you'll again give the password so let's say i my new password is going to be admin one two three four so this is my new password so this is the command that you need to write inside your text document that you create you will save it you'll say file and then you will say save now it has been saved you close this file minimize it your first step is done after that you need to open up your cmd to open up your cmd you'll search for cmd and you'll right click and you will open up as administrator now your cmd is also open up right now the cmd is open up in this system 32 folder you need to change this to mysql default root directory so how you can do it first let me navigate to my sql directory so i'm gonna say it is in my c drive it is under program files and it is under my sql folder my sql server 8.0 now for you guys it may be different if you guys have installed my sql server in some other folder 
then you need to navigate to that folder once you reach that folder you need to double click on to win folder and this is the file that we are looking for my sqld.exe well you don't have to worry about this right now you don't have to do anything with this file right now you just need to copy the path of the bin folder so you copy it you right click and copy it and then you go back to your cmd here you say cd space and you say the path that you copied press enter and your cmd will change your path to this particular my sql server bin folder next you need to type here my sqld space hyphen hyphen default hyphen i'll say file equals to and here i need to give the file for the configuration of my sql this file you will find i'll tell you where you will go to your c drive and here you need to search for program data folder now usually this folder will be hidden if your folder is hidden you can just go to view you can go to show and here you will see check this hidden items option and you will be able to see program data folder click on to that and then you need to go to my sql there you go this is my sql and here you will click onto my sql server 8.0 and this is your my.ini file so you need to give the path of this file right there in your defaults path here defaults file you will copy this path as usual and i'll say copy and i'm going to open up my cmd back here in double quotes i'm going to write the path and i'll say backslash and name of that my.ini file and i'll say double quotes closed after this you give one space and you say hyphen hyphen two times and you will say in it and after that you will say hyphen file again and this time equals to you will give the file which you have stored into your d drive or wherever so my password.txt file is stored into my d drive so i'll in the double quotes i'll say d and here the name of the file close this after this you say hyphen hyphen console and this is the command so first you will write mysqld space hyphen hyphen defaults hyphen file equals to then you give the path of that my ini and then you will say double hyphen you will say init hyphen file equals to then your path of that password.txt file space hyphen hyphen console once you do that press enter and it should come something like this there you go it says my sql server ready for connections your password is successfully changed now guys so whatever password you have given into that password.txt file that password will be saved as a new password now next you can test it through going to your my sql workbench if you click on to that you can see if i give the new password which is admin1234 press enter and there you go it is working fine no problem now it is working with a new password but as soon as you close this cmd window your mysql server will again shut down because we have forcefully stopped it from the services so after you close it once you close it you need to go back to your services and then you need to manually restart that mysql 80 server once you are done with this there you go now you can easily use my sql workbench with the new password that you have set just now and we have successfully changed our password there you go so i hope you have understood this video well this is how you can change the password in your my sql workbench or your my sql client also if you use my sql client let me show you with my sql client as well so here you'll give the new password and there you go 
it is working so this is how you do it without remembering your old password this is how you can reset the password of my sql connection anytime how many number of times you want you can just do it even if you've forgotten it this is how you do it guys i hope you have understood this well if you have any doubts into this video please tell us in the comment section i'm gonna clear all your doubts so that's it for this video guys i hope you've liked it i'll see you guys in the next one this is ashang david signing off and don't forget to press like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates so i'll see you guys in the next one till then happy learning